Hey guys, what's going on? This is T Right Yu Gi Oh! Um, I just got back from YCS Long Beach. I had top 16. Um, if you want to know what happened, why I lost, uh, it's at the end of this video. Um, I already sold the mat, but I have this folder still. It has one of every card in it, except I already sold the Hornet in it, so I mean, if anything wants anything from Order of Chaos, I have one of everything apparently besides Hornet. Anyways, I'm just going to go straight into the build and, and why. There's triple tour guide here and a Sangin. I mean, this wind-up says broken. It's the best card ever. Um, got triple magician here because in order to do anything with wind-ups, you need two different wind-ups. So why not max up on the lineup? Or max out on the lineup, you know? If I need Magician and something else to do anything, why am I only playing two Magicians? If I need Rat and Shark to do anything, you know, like, or like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You need two wind-ups, so why not max out the lineup? Um, three Rabbits, this guy's broken. Like, he's ridiculously good. If games drag on, he'll win you the game, so... Triple Rat, of course, you need it for the loop. Triple Shark, um, my deck list online is going to say that I was only playing one Shark. That is not true, I was playing Triple Shark, uh, it's at the end of the video, so just go ahead and skip on over to that if you want to, you're that curious. Was not playing Triple Hunter, I was playing one Hunter. Skip to the end of the video if you want to see why. If you want to see the explanation on my online deck list from this video, you know, and I played double maxi, I played double effect failure, that's pretty bad dude, um, I played triple fiendish chain, double torrential, double warning, solemn judgment, that was my trap lineup, I didn't play mirror force of deep prison, I just feel like, I just feel like it's not that good, disruption is what's good, not something that I have to wait for them to attack me. And we got triple MST. Bayou Enthusiast MST. I met her at the regionals and she signed my MST. So it's double MST. Now, now, I expect her to draw me two more. I expect it now. Matter of fact, if I don't see two more here, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna rage. I'm gonna rage everywhere. It was 100% legal, so like, if you guys don't know who she is, and you randomly know who I am and not her, then you're ridiculous for one, but for two, go check her out, Value Enthusiast. She's really cool too, so go do that. But don't jack off to her videos, because it's kind of awkward. Double Smashing Ground. Uh, I was really worried about the Rabbit matchup, so I decided I should strengthen the the rabbit or the rabbit matchup by manning smashing grounds help my game one out same reason i wanted my deck to be faster and i wanted to have better matchup against the rabbit matchup so uh played double instant fusion played pot of course stable 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 this guy's good you should play him and stable um, yeah, I did not play Wind-Up Factory, uh, if you want to know why I didn't play Wind-Up Factory, it's because, uh, I couldn't fit room in, and, uh, I don't need it. It's not necessarily amazing, I liked Instant Fusion better. So, <coughs> <coughs> side deck, this double snowman eater, um, this guy went in a lot, Mirror Force, this guy went in a lot, Noble Bottomless, this guy went in a lot. Decrees, I didn't side in a single time. Crow, I did not side in a single time. I think I sided in once against windups, but then I sided it back out game three. Uh, Valor, sided in a bunch. Double Cyber Dragon, sided him in a bunch. Uh, won me a couple games. Um, triple Shadow and Prison Mirror, sided these in, I think, four different games. And one Spear Reaver. This guy went in a lot, too. And extra deck, triple carrier, of course. 
Uh, love here. Sandman's. Okay, Gorilla Ant. Uh, Acid Golem. Leviathan. Uh, this guy put in absolutely no work at all. I mean, he literally just didn't even come out, so. If another card's coming on my extra deck, like if I was gonna fit Shockmaster in here, which I probably will, this guy's coming out for sure. Um, Utopia. This guy put in a bunch of work. This guy put in a bunch of work. This guy actually almost lost me in game. I got exactly two back row and one monster. I was like, pop both back row, and then I was gonna attack for game. And, uh, got Starlight Rotor. So be careful about that. It sucked. But I still won that game. Um, then this guy put in a lot of work. I didn't play Tyrus because, to be honest, she's not that good. Then my, then my Fusions. One level three, one level five. And my command type. So that's the deck list. Um, so what happened? Uh, top 16 is when they decided to do the deck check. Or me and everybody else, they deck took everyone at top 16, and my deck list was written down wrong. Uh, I had written down that I was playing three hunters and one shark, when in reality I was playing three sharks and one hunter. So I got a game loss, and then I was forced to play three hunters and one shark for top 16. Uh, I opened up really, really trashy. It was against a dark web player. Um, I ended my turn with Triple Carrier Rabbit on board, and uh, he opened up by setting two um, card destruction aim, uh, discarding double Graffa and Snow, searching the field card, drawing into Graffa. He ended, the turn ended, he was with Levier, double Graffa on board, a third Graffa in Grave, uh, gone through all three Snows, gone through all three field cards, um, set skill drain with a second back row and I mean he drew the nuts and I drew the nothing and I was playing triple hunter so that didn't go over well but it happens uh learn my lesson I'm gonna double check my deck list every time now um and yeah I guess that's really all I can say right um, I'm gonna try to go to YCS Texas now, because it did so well, and I have to wanna see if I luck sacked it through it or if I am a consistent enough player to do that. I'll also do a video on how I played windups and uh, you know, like release some of the combos that I use frequently, and. Um, I'll do that if I get enough likes on this video or requests for me to do that. Um, subscribe, comment, rate. Um, I like to try to help people actually learn to play the game instead of just posting deck lists and saying, hey man, figure out how to play it. Um, this is my deck list. I'm going to try to get videos showing how I played it through this YCS. 4,000 people, I got top 16. And I only lost, I, I strongly feel that I only lost because of the game loss. Um, and then he opened up broken, so like, I think if I would have won like a game two, and he didn't draw so nutty, that I might have actually stood a chance because he misplayed. And that's the only reason I think that, like, like, he misplayed during, during his turn one. He had game, and he didn't game me. And then he had two different plays. He could have just literally just gamed me then. But that prep play was like... Like that play was a little bit harder to see. And then he had a different play to completely... Like it was an obvious play with my rabbit love and my rabbit back, which he could have done, but he didn't. Um, he could have done that and made it so there was no top deck in my deck to win. But he left it so if I top decked Heavy Storm, I was going to win the game. But I didn't, so <laughs> it's irrelevant, right? Um, but yeah, uh, so that's all I have to say. Uh, subscribe if you want to see videos on how to play windups and some deck profiles. Of course, I do those and local reports and all kinds of great stuff. Send me a PM if you want this binder. 
If it matters that you don't have a Hornet in that binder, I'll go get a Hornet for you. If the offer is good enough, I'll go get a first ed Hornet and put it in there and then mail it to you. Um, but yeah, PM me about that. So uh, that's it, YouTube. Peace.